안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. 저희는 인턴 대사로 1일 출근하게 된 양내원 안효빈입니다. 네, 벌써 인턴 대사 네 번째 출근이라고 하는데요. 오늘 가볼 곳은 어디죠, 효빈 파랑? 오늘은 용산구에 위치한 주한 잠비아 대사관으로 1일 출근해 보려고 합니다. 와! <웃음> 자, 그럼 가보실까요? 어, 잠시만요. 오늘 미션 전달해 드릴게요. 어, 미션이 있다고요? 뭐죠? 미션이요? 주 잠비아 대한민국 대사관 설립을 추진하시오 어? 근데 이거 너무 쉬운 거 아니에요? 이미 있잖아요 음, 이거 당연히 있지 않을까요? 그러게요 이번 미션 완전 쉽네 음... 어? 어? 왜 검색 결과가 없죠? 어? 왜 없지? 주 잠비아 대한민국 대사관? 잠비아에 아직 우리나라 대사관이 없나 봐요 진짜요? 어 그러면 이번 미션 너무 어려운 거 아닐까요? 너무 어려운데요? <웃음> 자 저희는 드디어 주한 잠비아 대사관에 도착을 했는데요 오늘 미션 성공을 기원하며 주한 잠비아 대사님을 인터뷰하러 가보겠습니다. 가보겠습니다. Before we do that, we know each other just briefly, oh, so ah. that I can settle down. I don't know who I'm talking to. <laughs> okay, so we are um, from Mofa. Yeah. And we are kind of university students reporters, uh, and we are in a team that invest, invest interviews yeah. other embassies. Okay. And this time we chose Zambian embassy, so we're gonna interview your okay. excellency. Okay. Yeah. So my name is Yang Neon, okay. and my name is Hyo Bin. Okay. I'm Hyo Bin. Okay. Yeah. And yourself? Okay. My name is Sonji. Sonji Seo. My name is Mikhail, and I'm the mentor of this team. Ah, okay. <웃음> <웃음> 안녕하세요. 저희는 주한 잠비아 대사님을 만나러 온 인턴 대사 양내원 안효빈입니다. 네, 반갑습니다. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you. Nice to meet you. So, before the interview, could your Excellency give us a brief introduction of yourself? I'm. Uh, My name is uh, Andrew Robesan Banda. Uh, I'm the ambassador mm -hmm. of Zambia to South Korea. Um, I, um, I was born in Livingston um, some years back, of course, you can tell from my age. Mm -hmm. um, I'm ambassador here. This is my fourth uh, diplomatic uh, mm -hmm. assignment. The first one was in 1992. Mm -hmm. After the first democratic elections in our country, 33 years ago, uh, over 33 years ago, the second appointment was um, in the, uh, the first appointment was uh, as a diplomat was in Ottawa as first secretary political, and then uh, I went back home to the headquarters, and then I was reappointed in the foreign service. I went to serve in uh, Rome, Italy. That's basically political, but I was also accredited to the Food and Agriculture Organization. Mm -hmm. I was also accredited to IFAD. You know, as you may well know, mm -hmm. the uh, headquarters of uh, Food and Agriculture Organization is based in Rome. Mm -hmm. uh, my background is uh, I'm an agriculturist. I, um, I went to university in Israel and specialized in the UK. Uh, my third appointment was uh, in New Delhi. As Deputy High Commissioner in India, mm -hmm. and this is the fourth uh, appointment as full ambassador. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Now let's start an interview. First question As the ambassador of Zambia to Korea, could Your Excellency please introduce what values Your Excellency is focusing on and what efforts Your Excellency is making to maintain and develop relationship with Korea? Very interesting uh, question. What makes uh, Korea interesting to Zambia is what you have done in the last 60 years. Uh, 60 years ago, your GDP was lower than ours. Uh, what is it that you have done that has made Korea be among the 13 most developed economies in the world? Those are the things we are now focusing with my colleagues. And what is it? that Korea has done, that we have not done. Here is my country, 
with abundant mineral resources. We are the third largest producer of copper in the world, second in Africa. Well, I think we are the biggest uh, emerald mining company, uh, country in the world, and yet we remain poor. We have a disaster right now in our country, and uh, eight hours maybe we have no power. How can you develop industry if you have no power? So, but, and yet your country doesn't have all those resources, and you are where you are. But in the last nine months we've learned a lot as well in terms of um, what has made Korea the way it is. We've invested heavily in education, which we want to emulate. We've invested heavily in information technology, which we want to emulate as well. Obviously, there's the issue of discipline. Uh, there's a lot of discipline here, a lot of order, which we also want to, uh, to emulate. We know issues of the Samuel Dong concept, which has made Korea way to be where it is. So we, we want to emulate all, all those things. Does that answer your question? So our value, our, our focus is what is it that has made Korea be what it is. And we can do it. There's not that. What's the difference between yourselves and, I, and ourselves? Totally nothing. We're all the same human beings. Yes. The next part is about your life and career. Yeah. So the first question is that we are wondering about your excellence's personal motivation for being a diplomat. First of all, I, um, I never thought that one day I would be a diplomat. Uh, my dream when I was young was to want to become a soldier. I thought I would become a soldier, but um, my parents, especially my, my late father, thought otherwise. scholarship to go and study in agriculture in Israel. That's where I went to study agriculture and then went to the UK to specialize. And then in 1989, uh, our country wanted democracy. Uh, our country was ruled for 27 years under one party and one president. But our people wanted democracy. as member of parliament then in 1991 but unfortunately I lost that's how my diplomatic career came in when I lost the then president Dr. Chikuba appointed me to go in the foreign service just to get more that's how my foreign service career started this is what I know that I would one day reach the level of ambassador today so we've been democratic for 33 years we've elected seven presidents in 33 years which is an average of four and a half years we change presidents. And very interesting, well, that's what makes our country unique in Africa. Not just Africa, but also the world. Okay. So, yeah, we'll move on to the next question. Yeah. Yeah. Could Your Excellency please tell us about the most memorable experience while working at the Zambian Embassy? I think that the, for me, the day I went to present my credentials mm -hmm. to the president of mm -hmm. Korea, that was a memorable occasion for me. And what excited me most was that uh, uh, when I was asked to say something after presenting my credentials, I appealed uh, to the president of Korea, look, we've been having diplomatic relations for the last 33 years. We Zambians opened our mission here in 2013, but there is no mission, Korean mission in the uh, uh, embassy in, uh, in Zambia. And uh, we made that appeal. Please, let's not take away from what work was done before by my colleagues. Uh, of course, they also did some work to make sure that the embassy is open in Zambia. But uh, it was so exciting for us that uh, immediately we made that appeal 
the Korean government the following week confirmed that they were going to open a, a mission in Zambia this year. So credit goes obviously to all of us and my colleagues before. Uh, you know what it goes with opening an embassy in a country. It will make people-to-people uh, -people relations easier. It will make it easier to collaborate to, on bilateral issues. It will open up many things. To travel to Zambia, uh, if, uh, if a Zambian is traveling to Korea, they apply for a visa from Zimbabwe. That's where you are. But now it will be directly. Uh, we're happy about that. So that was a very memorable occasion for me. I must not uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we will ask about Zambia. Okay. We anticipated patent exchanges between Korea and Africa. Yes. Exemplified by events such as the upcoming Korea Africa summit scheduled yes. for yes. June in Seoul. Yes. In this regard, could your excellency kindly introduce some hidden attraction in Zambia? Okay, very good question. First of all, the Korea Africa Summit is the first of its kind ever. Mm -hmm. It has never happened. And uh, you know, we, we have about 20, we have 20 uh, African uh, uh, ambassadors here. In other words, we have 20 African missions here. It will be the first time uh, uh, we have such an occasion where African leaders from 20 different countries will come. And obviously there could be much more than the number of African countries are more. Uh, so now um, we are competing. Uh, uh, we are competing. We have a lot to offer as Zambia ourselves, one in the money industry. In the Korea Africa Summit offers us an opportunity for us to market our country, and not known in Korea. Very limited is known about Zambia and Korea, and vice versa. The Koreans don't know much about the Zambia, and Zambians also don't know much about it. So this will be an occasion for us to market. There will be different companies that will come here. There will be side meetings, correct? Uh, that will, will, will involve businessmen from different sectors of the economy. Obviously, obviously be government officials also from ministries, maybe of mining, ministry of agriculture, ministry of energy, ministry of information and technology, ministry of finance. Imagine what will come out of that transfer market. And of course, then our president will be here. A lot uh, will be agreed upon. Thank you. <laughs> Next question. There are many countries in Africa and diverse communities as well. We wonder what role Zambia plays within Africa and within SABC. What role Zambia has played in the Sadak region, isn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah, I want to say this and proudly so. Uh, we became independent in 1964, which is 60 years ago. In, in October this year, we we'll have got 60 years of our independence, right? And uh, the number of countries within that region became independent because of our support. Uh, because of our support, we supported Zimbabwe in this struggle. We supported Angola in their struggle for independence. We supported Mozambique. We supported South Africa. Uh, we supported many other countries that are around. We are surrounded by eight countries. So our role in the liberation struggle in, 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 the, in, in the southern region cannot be underestimated. And it actually goes beyond that. Uh, our founding father, Dr. Kaunda, was a believer in the liberation struggles, like, was a believer in freedom, was a believer in democracy, was a believer in peace. So to answer your question, we played a very big role and history is there to, to be with us. And then, uh, maybe the last question. So, Korea and Zambia have many differences in culture, climate and more, considering the geographical distance. Yeah. As Your Excellency has experienced Korea culture for many years, um, what do Your Excellency think the biggest difference between Korean culture and Zambian culture? One thing that uh, is very clear uh, about the Koreans is that um, you value your culture like we also value our culture. Of course, the two cultures are, 
are unique in that uh, uh, we have a different, uh, we have an African way in which we approach our culture. You have your own ways. But what is important is for us to learn from uh, your culture and also vice versa, what you have to learn from our culture. And your culture has actually even attracted even tourism. It is one of your the main uh, issues that you brought about in the, it's, it's a tourism uh, attraction. We are talking earlier on with Mr. Chirembo and my colleagues here about a ceremony which is taking place in, uh, in, uh, in Western Province right now, today. It's a culture which involves the Western Province people of Zambia, the Lozis, where the, all of them, they convey there's a ceremony where the, the king of the laws is, is moving from the wetlands coming to the, the, to the dry lands using what the ceremony is called the, 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 the Kwamboka. We have another ceremony which is a cultural event uh, in the eastern province. It is called the Nchwana where all the Ngonis also, also gather. The Ngonis has 10 different uh, regions, 10 different cultures. All of those um, they also are tourist uh, attractions. Um, so perhaps that's the way I would answer your your question. Mm. Yeah. That is all of our interview, yeah. and now we're gonna play a simple small game. Yes. This game name is Victoria First Game. <laughs> The reason for playing this game is to introduce Victoria first yes. <laughs> and the beautiful nature of Africa in a more familiar way yes. by playing a game. And we expect that this will highly promote people's interest in Zambia and the relationship between Korea and Zambia. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. 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 Thank 대한민국과 잠비아 다른 것 같으면서도 이렇게 끈끈한데 주 잠비아 대한민국 대사관이 하루빨리 설립되었으면 좋겠습니다. 이 정도면 미션 성공인가요? Victoria first game. Victoria four. Yeah.